Throughout Minnesota, small town family run restaurants are more than just places to eat. They really define the community. That's why I'm so excited to take you to New Trier, Minnesota. All right, where's New Trier, Minnesota? It sounds far. It's not. It's just about 40 minutes southwest of downtown Minneapolis and St. Paul, not far from Hastings and Red Wing. Derusha eats at Dan's Bar and Grill, where the third generation is running the kitchen, a daughter who graduated culinary school. New Trier, Minnesota is not what you'd call a destination. We grew up here. Danette Welch was one of the 118 who lived in New Trier when she was a kid. And that, that was my bedroom right there. This so, is yeah, your room. Yeah, yeah, so we used to, we lived up there. And Danette and Dave, two of five kids who grew up inside Dan's bar. Oh, it was great. It was awesome. We, uh, we had so much fun. Dan Hartung was the first Dan to run this place in 1960, a local bar with good burgers. Danette took over and became Dan number two. This is your coleslaw? This is my coleslaw. What's the secret? A lot of love. <laughs> Her daughter, Danny, is number three. But Chef Danielle Durow is bringing a different approach to her family's kitchen. Yeah, I've been working here since I was probably 13, you know, doing dishes, odd end things, helping out. Um, and then I went away to school. Culinary school in Chicago, fancy restaurants, tweezers, until she decided she wanted to come home. You don't want the fancy uh, culinary school person to come and turn this into... No, and we, t we told her that from the start. Chef Danny started with a couple of specials. Simple things like a pork chop. Well, now we house smoke it, and we serve it with roasted uh, brown sugar sweet potatoes, things like that, just elevating it a little bit. Two years later, her menu was completely different. Dan's bar is still known for burgers, but now Chef Danny is stuffing them. They're enormous. They're monsters. How much beef is on that Half thing? Pounds. The wonton burger has cream cheese inside. A buttermilk fried chicken sandwich has a sweet, spicy, homemade bang bang sauce. Do you use any microgreens no, in the menu here? There's no microgreens. No foam? No, no foams. Mm. The most uh, the most extravagant lettuce we use is arugula. So that was that was a stretch for uh, a few people. Now everyone's starting to accept it. The regulars have been coming for almost 60 years. Not just for dinner. Dan's bar is an anchor, defining family, defining new Trier. I love it. I love working with her. My parents would be so proud to have her here and taking taken charge in the kitchen. And it's it's just nice that it's going to go on. It's amazing that people are coming from Minneapolis. I mean, amazing to have you guys here. Just because we're just doing burgers, coming back and taking third generation, I mean, it's very special. Uh, it is so cool. I was told about this place by some of uh, some people on Twitter, and they're like, you have to check this mm. place oh, out. Cool. And the fact that uh, it's three generations of family, and I really think mm. like these small town restaurants, it's what makes our communities unique, right? Yeah. These are the places you go to celebrate the good times and the bad. And when you lose them, you're like, what are you left with, yeah. really? So mm -hmm. Plus that uh, food looks oh, unbelievable. Buttermilk, well, fried chicken sandwich, please. It oh, was excellent. I wanted the wonton burger. Yeah. Yes. Stuffed with cream And it's cheese. so inexpensive. The pork chop was like 15 bucks and wow. includes a house salad. Like the burgers were, I think, 12 or 13 bucks for wow. those giant stuff. So uh, worth the drive for sure. Very cool. I like that you've gone outside of the That's right. We're doing suburban cities. spots all this month. Cool. So it should be fun.